this is the beginning of some sort of social credit system. And the powers that be, whatever they are, the governmental powers, the media powers, the people that want to keep you locked up and depressed and everything else, they will always release another variant. They will always release another variant. They will always release something else to scare you and to keep you at home and to exercise some psychotic level of control over you. Is there a giant sort of globalist operation that's yeah. sort of taking over the world that we're now we're seeing through COVID and lockdowns and everything else? It's like mail-in voting where you literally, if you put your envelope up to a freaking soft light like this, yeah. you can see right through it. Do you think maybe that would lend itself to cheating? Or if you just take a basic um, iPhone um, flashlight. First of all, <laughs> that's such a lie, dude. That's just literally a lie. I want him to do that. I want him to show a mail-in envelope, let alone like how all the counting process basically happened in front of our eyes. Like, and people still had a hard time trying to figure out, uh, uh, trying to come up with new ways of saying like, actually they were fucking uh, still cheating or whatever. But like, I want him to, to prove that. I want him to prove that so bad. I want him to show like, you know, put it in front of a light and I want him to fucking show the, the ballot. Even though, one, that's not even true, but also on top of that, like, you think motherfuckers are going to spend that much time on, like, millions of fucking votes? Millions of votes. They're going to pull it up and, like, look it up on a light and be like, oh, this guy voted for Trump. Time to fucking delete it. To a ballot, you could automatically see the yes and the vote for Larry. No matter which way you folded it, either you could see the yes or you could see Larry. The machines don't count the votes. They just register that you voted so that you can't vote. I love this fucking idiot in the chat that said, the burden of proof is on you. That's not how that works, man. The burden of proof is on him. You can't disprove something. It's literally the opposite. The burden of proof should never be on the side that is supposed to disprove it. It's supposed to be on the side that's making the assertion, the claim. Now, what I mean by that is like, for example, I could say you're a pedophile and then demand you disprove that you're a pedophile. How are you going to do that? You literally can't do that. There you go. Are you a pedophile now? Maybe. Burden of proof is on you. Somewhere else, even though you didn't have to show an ID in the first place. Did you catch the end there? There's a plan to get them the education and the resources they need. Sort of like a re-education camp. Should we maybe put them in gulags or in special areas, remove them from society where we can then teach them what is good and right? Seems to me this is the Obama third term, that they could only get a certain amount of it done. And this is about Obama basically getting a third term. It's Obama's agenda. He said he would love to have a third term. He knows he can't have a third term, so he'd love to just pull the strings from behind. So every now and again, they tell you exactly what they're doing. The o Obama interview where he says, you know, boy, the best thing for me would be to have my two terms as president and then basically uh, be able to do everything from behind the scenes. I'm slightly paraphrasing him, but that's pretty much what he said. He's getting that right now. I think all of the worst progressive leftist Marxist ideas are being pushed through. None of it makes sense. Why is it? Yeah, Obama still wants to be so active in politics that the only fucking political thing he did was like, go rally for Perry McAuliffe. When like a gigantic fucking build back better fucking uh, policy, uh, a build back better program for his supposed best friend whom that administration is like having a hard time passing through Congress. So instead of fucking bullying Joe Manchin, doing rallies in fucking West Virginia, doing rallies in Arizona, he like one time went down and was like, you got to vote for Terry McAuliffe. Like the only times Obama has been involved in fucking politics was like in Georgia briefly in uh, the VA gubernatorial race briefly. And to like call up LeBron to be like, don't do a strike. That's not good. Is it that not one country somewhere, perhaps in Africa that didn't have the technology 
or the wherewithal or the information to deal with this thing properly? Why did not one country fail? And Why didn't we find the one yeah. city that was completely infected and everyone died? All of this stuff. Like, I'm just asking questions here, okay? I don't mean to be a crazy right-wing conspiracy theorist when I say all this. I'm just asking the questions, but we didn't. Uh, why is it? Just somebody show me one hospital on planet Earth where there are just dead people outside and people that can't get in. Why haven't we seen one city with that? We haven't seen one place somewhere. In Wait, what? Why? There? What? What the fuck? There is like footage, bro. What do you mean? It was like broadly covered. Andrew Cuomo as governor after he was done murdering old people in old folks homes and shit. Literally used prison slave labor to like open up fucking massive graves to, so that they could like you know put everybody in them they had fucking they had prisoners from rikers uh opening up like new graves because there was just like not enough uh workers to to meet the demand of new graves that were needed there were overflow morgues in the form of in the form of like fridge trucks you know what i mean cooled uh cooled trucks because the morgues were overflowing inside of the hospital system. I mean, this happened in, like, this. it's not like this happened in, like, bumfuck nowhere either. It happened in fucking New York. Wild, dude. We're in Africa, where perhaps they don't have clean water and they don't have masks and everything else. We haven't seen that, that anywhere. Uh, but... Am I... Do you tune into this show to go, what is that conspiracy theory? To be honest, though, like, uh... It, 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 you don't even need to go there like the easiest way to disprove these fucking psychotic conspiracy theories other than the sheer volume of people the sheer number of people that would have to participate in it which includes doctors and medical professionals and like scientific community internationally worldwide is the excess mortality data that was readily available and i fucking screamed about it over and over again from the top of my lung when steven crowder and numerous others were also doing this same like a COVID deaths are fucking fake bullshit, which they of course moved away from. Why? Because there's a new cultural uh, outrage uh, issue to cover. You know what I mean? Only thing Obama cares about is rappers and NBA players liking him. It's not just rappers, dude. What the fuck do you mean? No, it's like every celebrity. He he just wants to be boys with John Legend and shit. That's it. That's Obama's main goal, and he fucking achieved it. my king. He did that shit. Dude, he wants cool people to come to his birthday party. That's it. And by God, did he achieve that goal? He wants a fucking cushy Netflix deal where he makes like dog shit documentaries and he wants to be friends with uh, famous people. Here's Dave Rubin think that that guy, he's really gone off the rails. He's quite an alarmist and he's making people crazy and none of the stuff that he says makes any sense. I, I hope that's not why you're here. The machines don't count the votes. I mean, the difference between like this and like all these other uh, conspiracy theories is that like this has been repeated so many fucking times that like, it, and it's also a way that Republicans actually agitate to get people to the polls and it's a way for them to justify uh, more voter suppression measures that limit the amount of people who can vote. Uh, so it's no longer seen as like that much of a conspiracy theory because it's been repeated from legitimate outlets over and over again. Despite the fact that there is no empirical evidence to support this. Hassan Pecker. Can't make up that name.